We acknowledge that we are gathered on the traditional land of the Kulin Nation and particularly the Wurundjeri people. We pay our respects to the elders of our community, past, present and future, for they hold the customs, the culture and hopes of Indigenous Australia. The land upon which we are gathered is, was and always will be Aboriginal land. The Indigenous gardens at Thornbury Primary are really important that we have the plants of this land planted on site. Um, we have a fibre garden, we have a food forest. These are gardens that predated me, but we've, since I've been here we also received a land care grant and we have planted out huge amounts of plants. All of the classes at our school participate in the gardening program. 16% of our students identify as Aboriginal Torres Strait Islander and this school has such a long proud history of um, being part of the local Aboriginal community. The garden has always been like a place to calm down and relax for me and like get my hands dirty. <laughs> I wander out and I will see pure engagement in hands-on activity, um, pushing themselves beyond their limits to lift things and dig things and work together. They have a real sense of pride in our garden and they also have a real sense of responsibility that this isn't just a garden that's maintained by um, external parties, it's their space to look after and care for. I would consider that I teach environmental science actually, um, and I, applied science, but it always plays out in also teaching very um, life skills like digging a hole, um, it becomes learning physics, pushing wheelbarrows, just really practical skills. But then we also spend a lot of time responding to our landscape around us, so if a bird arrives or a creature is found in the soil then we'll have a good discussion about life cycles and we'll have discussions around ecology and, and what that creature might be connected to. Okay, so do you, who knows what this is a baby of? I know. This is a baby beetle. This is actually, this is the baby and this is what, yes. Our students uh, understand that a connection to country and knowing the country that you're on is really important. For us to even have any concept of the tragedy that's occurring at the moment in terms of our ecological um, integrity, our biodiversity, um, the lack of knowledge and, and beings that have been made extinct through colonisation, it's, it's, it's a huge component of us understanding how we can move forward into the future and build a better system. Part of the gardening program is to build strong relationships with plants and, and one of the ways that we can build relationships with plants is being able to know their names, know their um, seasonal cycles, how they flower, what they look like, their shapes, how they um, intersperse with each other, like how the plants mingle together, how they might move across the garden. We have plants that are moving with the wind, so it's about watching the plants and getting to know those plants to build a relationship with those plants. Our school uh, has a huge focus on the NAIDOC theme each year and particularly this year with Hill Country as we've embedded it into our curriculum and our gardening program. Hill Country means that we nurture the earth with water, plants and heal bits that like heal droughts, just nurturing the country. How to care for it and how to understand it. I don't understand it yet, but I hope I will soon. <laughs> From my experience of, of understanding the world is through country and through plants and through soil and through the beings that are non-human that also have a right to exist here and learning from them. Healing country would just be amazing <laughs> and really help for a better future for everyone and that would be awesome.